What up, what up, everybody, man? It's Trish React, you hear me? We about to react to police captain daughters caught doing drugs, you hear me? Yeah, nobody want to do drugs. Nobody want to go through that. Even as a parent, you find out your kids either taking drugs or not a virgin. That's two one of the worst, worst things you got to know. But if you want to get to this video, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, you all know. I wonder which one is his daughter. She, no, she taking pills. Only, no, this is what I want to say. Only rich kids take pills at a young age. Taking pills as drugs at what a young age, bro. It's crazy. No, no, no. <coughs> Wait, so you've never heard of senioritis before? No, what's that? It's basically what seniors in high school experience when they know they're going to graduate soon. It's like... What's the point of even trying? Well, speak for yourself. I have to keep my straight A's if I want my scholarships. Why not just have your dad pay for it all like I do? Because my parents don't have that kind of money. Right. You stupid. You ugly anyways, bro. Why you your you pay your dad pay for it all like I do? Because my parents don't have that kind of money. I can't afford to pay school. Brittany, you take life way too seriously. We're seniors. It's time to let loose and get wild. We're only young once. Matter of fact, I think we should live life on the edge a bit more. What is that? So I can't be doing it. Why you do pills for drugs? Why you just don't do weed or something like you? Why you want to do pills? You know, I like to call my happy medicine. What does it do? I think it's a happy it medicine. It makes all your problems go away. Oh, Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> is there a reason you girls are here? Bro came out of Noah, bro. How you hid behind her so Excuse clean? Me, ladies. <laughs> they ain't got a little there fresh cut, bro. Oh, so hey, Mr. Gotta... Spellman. We're just waiting for my dad to come pick us up. There's less traffic on the side of the school. Why do you ask? Well, some vigilantes have been breaking into the teacher's cars lately, mine included. And we have reason to believe it was one of the students. You wouldn't know anything about that now, would you, Brittany? Me? Oh. Hey, yo, son, why you, why you had to wait for the black girl first? How would I know? I don't know. You tell me. How would you know? Racist? Know. Racist? <laughs> Question mark? Racist? Ill mindset? Like, come on, dude. What are you doing? I don't know. No. Yet. I don't, I don't know. Interesting. You know, Jessica's dad here is a cop, right? And when we find out who did this, we're going to make sure to get them expelled. And I'm personally going to see to it. That they never go to college. Okay. You girls have a good day now. <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay, I swear, Mr. Spellman is racist. Oh God. Please Spellman. don't be one of those people who makes everything about skin color. Oh not everything's racist. One of those people. Nigga, literally just target her in front of your face and you gonna say not everything is about racist. You sound Brittany, stupid. I'm not saying everything is racist. I say people some people. talking about it so much if there wasn't some truth to it. Like, he just immediately looks at me like I'm guilty. Hey, hey you girls, right? Have yep. a typo, yeah. nigga. ATR? That nigga just had a typo. Oh, like uh, that's crazy, son. <laughs> hey, hey, you nigga, girls, right? Your daddy rich and you, and you got it. You drive, he drive a Ford? Oh, no. Come on, let's get out of here. And then Mr. Spellman called me, and he asked me to investigate who broke into his car. <laughs> I'm like, buddy, I got real police business to attend to. My work can't be focused on some punk kid who broke in and stole your CD collection from the 80s. I mean, there's a new dealer in town, and he's lacing drugs with methylate. That's taking a really big toll in the community. Good thing you two are good girls. Yeah. This nigga just took took three. Niggas is bugging. Hold up. Let me count. Let me count. Hold on. Let me count. One, two, three, four. I mean, that's five. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. tripping. D 
then you peer pressure her. And she gave her two. She ate three. <sighs> Nigga, you was taking pills. You not, you not, you not smelling nothing. Like. It's best to take this deep breath. Uh, Daddy, can we get in and out? Anything for my little princess. That what you get for spoiler. Mm, no cap. You're my you best die. friend. I love you so much. Jess. Wake up. Where, where are you? Where am I? I'm in your room. Um, are you okay? Should I get your dad? No, no. Just get me agua. What is agua? agua? You need water? Mm -hmm. oh, si, water. senor. <laughs> some <clears throat> water. Put some water in your body, little nigga. <coughs> Don't take that crap. Hey girls, I'm heading to work in case you need anything. What's going on here? Oh, oh I'm not seeing a thing. Hold on, hold on. She in a whole predicament that she can get arrested. He gonna say, "Oh, black kid got pills in her head? Daughter on drugs? Tripping? Come on, she about to he about to hit them bitch with. He about to hit them with a pop, 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 two piece kind of your back there. Nothing. Yeah. Mm. Nigga, <laughs> drop that bitch. Drop that bitch on the bed. I got some drugs? Dad, Brittany gave me drugs. Oh, no. What? No. I didn't. She took them and then she tried to give them to me. Daddy, help me. What? Brittany, what did you do? Get out of my house. <laughs> Mr. Rivera, I swear I didn't. I said get out of my house. You are not going to bring drugs into my household. Now get out before I take you to jail. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 I'm gone. I'm gone, nigga. You ain't doing it. Hey, you ain't taking me to jail. I'm gone, Sam. Like, you tripping me. You mean you bugging, Sam. You get out of jail. Free card, man, please. Ain't, ain't, ain't coaching. Come on. I think I'm not going to contact the school about this. Oh. Go. Brittany couldn't believe it. She was being accused for something she didn't do. And the worst part about it is nobody believes her. Needless to say, Brittany and Jessica ended their friendship that day. They were told to stop all forms of communication from that point forward. They'd see each other at school and avoid contact. And the worst part about this whole situation is that Brittany was being punished and she's innocent. Meanwhile, Jessica, on the other hand, had everyone on her side. But the fact that Jessica kept getting away with things only encouraged her bad behavior even more. Jessica began to spiral downhill and got even more hooked on drugs. She's a cookie on no head. She's a cookie on no head. Cookie on no head. Hey, Brittany. You see Jessica around here? No, sir, I haven't. Okay. Waiting on somebody, young lady? Oh, my Just God. Just You scared me. You know, I heard about your little mishap the other week, Miss El Chapo. <laughs> now, I don't have any hard evidence, but I know you're selling drugs on this campus, and I cannot wait to bust you so I can expel you indefinitely. Mr. Spellman, stop, all right? I don't sell drugs. I've never even taken a drug in my life. You're accusing the wrong person right now. You're right. I don't know the full story. But I do know that you broke into my car a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Now, I don't have any proof, but I have something better. Something to wish me. Oh my god, my car! Oh my <laughs> Woo! Woo! Brittany, oh, what on earth are you doing? Dad, let me go! This is fun! What's wrong with you? Hey, what the heck, man? That's my car! Oh. I'll take care of it. You guys believe me now? Dummy? Dummy? Oh what? <laughs> Dummy? You guys believe me now? Dummy? Stupid. The truth Big old says I'm stupid. Brittany was wrongfully accused, publicly humiliated, embarrassed, angry, and hurt, but the truth finally came to light. Bow. Bow. Couple hours away from graduating and you're still working, huh? You know, your hard work is gonna pay off over the years. Nobody can take that away from you. I'm real sorry. 
And it's just only, did you guys come here to buy some crack? No, 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 um, no crack for me. I actually came here to apologize. We both did. I'm really sorry about the way things went down earlier this year. I shouldn't have accused you, I was completely in the wrong. You're a good person. You didn't deserve that. And we're human. We make mistakes. But we're here to try to make things right. So, here you go. This is a summa cum laude award. It's the highest award student can receive. You can get a full ride scholarship at any school you'd like to join. Oh, shit. Thank you. Like she wearing lingerie. It's just all right. Don't thank me. Thank yourself. Yeah, well, I don't have like an award or anything to give you, but if you ever get in trouble by the police, you give them my business card and I'll get you out of whatever trouble you're in. Thank you. Kill somebody? Rob somebody? Out of there one day. Out of there. Come on, stop playing. Out of there one day. She's doing great. She's been in the program for like three months now. She's getting much better. Yeah, nigga got hooked on dude. See how you get hooked on drugs one time. Nigga take what four, three pills and she out of there. She was gonna smoke some crazy. She did all that. Can you let her know that regardless of how things went down, I wish you nothing but the best. Yeah, she has a lot of things she would like to apologize to you about. Yeah, for me. She asked me if she could do it in person before I get it. I'll give you guys a minute alone. Fuck? Nigga did it. None. Niggas but. <laughs> Me happy. Nigga snitch. Can't be me. She got a little booty on her though. But yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, man. Don't be like this dumb old nigga gonna sleep. She take three pills. Now she a crackhead. Nigga over here itching and stuff. Like, can I get some drugs? Over here in the bathroom, nigga, stomach up.